Hello, my name is Kevin Sutton, and this is a basic tutorial on the barbershop braid. This is edge braiding for leather work. This is a wallet. I'm sure all of you have seen one of these before. Um, this is what I'll be using as my lacing. I'm using thread. Now the reason that I am using thread for this is because, one, it is very easy to see. We have white and we have black. Two, the biggest reason is because I am a big cheapskate and thread is much, much, much cheaper than kangaroo. So, keeping that in mind that I'm a cheapskate and that these are pretty easy to see, we'll start. I have started by putting these two pieces of thread around the edge. They are knotted in the back so that they don't move around. That hole, that hole, white, black and I have gone several holes down in my wallet. Now, generally what I do is I, I tend to like to count in alternates. So, starting hole, one, two, three. That's where I want to put my next thing. Black, same thing. Starting hole, one, two, three. Now, you can go out to four or even possibly five. The idea is you're going to want to be farther away from the edge and have a thicker piece if you're going to be doing such huge braids on the edge. Alright, I generally like to start, or work rather, from the front of my braid rather than from the back. A lot of people like to work from the back. That's perfectly fine if you like to work from the back. It's just slightly different. Um, I'm going to take the white I'm going to come up and across. Now, I can go under one and over the other, or over one and under the other, either way. The only thing that that is going to affect is the direction that my braid is going to look like it's going. If I go over the black and under the white with this one, it's going to look like the white is going this direction. If I do the exact opposite, it's going to look like the white is going this direction. Alright, so I'm going to go over the black, under the white, and that will start me off. There we go. Get that nice and tight. And then I put that into the next hole that I have right here. Boom. Now that was very simple. That was the start. There wasn't much over and under. There wasn't very much involved with it. This one is going to tell us a lot more once we get there. However, we still got to get this guy over here. Now we went over the black, under the white, on this direction. Now on this direction we'll be going uh, under the blacks and over the whites there's only one thing here, so it's still really simple with starting out. We'll go over the white. That was not hard at all. And we'll go into the next hole on this side. Boom. Right there. Pop. All right. One of the difficulties of using thread is keeping it from twisting around on you. It looks a lot better when it's laid out straight. It doesn't look that bad when it gets twisted, but um, but that's thread. That's thread. Anyways, so, second line, the black line. Since we've started off with the white going over the black and under the white, the black line is going to go over the white and under the black, and that's going to create this round color going across there. So, Take this guy, it's going to go over the white, under the black. Over the white, under the black. Come on, stop being a... There we go. There we go. And then we're going to take him, and we're going to put him in the next hole. So we've gone over white, over white, under black. 
and coming this direction we're going to do the exact opposite under whites over blacks because we don't want to interfere with this look going across under whites over blacks get off of my cuff there we go untangle yourself my goodness this guy is just wanting to be pain there there we go and stick them through into the next hole and you'll continue on in that type of fashion ad nauseum until you get all the way around now I have one that I started and got a lot further so that you could see a full length of this right here and this guy obviously the one that we're going to be working with is the one furthest back so that we can get it up in front this tan line is also going around with the back rather than coming around this way so we're going to be going over black under under the same color there we go and one of the great things about this type of braiding is that if you're using two tones and you know what you're doing as far as going up and down you can skip ups and downs and make all sorts of interesting designs you could possibly braid your name into the edge of a wallet if you really wanted to uh, my suggestion is no one's going to want to pay for that so uh, do that on your own time but it does leave you a lot of options open as far as getting things done so there we go over under over under and back through and that is basically it now if you wanted to you could probably um, figure out exactly how to end this if you've done a little bit of braiding it's essentially just following everything around until everything starts to look like it's just one long length like every single braid and edge braid out there so if you need a tutorial for that please let me know I will do one um, but here this is the basic um, barber shop sometimes it's called the worm gear um, but basic barber shop edge braiding thank you very much